This is the story of an unsung hero, Major Alang Nau, Bob, Carthing, a Tankal Naga from Manipur. He was the first person of tribal origin to serve as an ambassador for India and played a vital role in integrating Tawang with the Union of India. Born on February 8, 1912, at Ukrul in Manipur, Bob belonged to the Tankal Naga tribe. Till class 5, he went to Pettigrew Mission School in Ukrul. Being extremely intelligent, the boy received a handsome state scholarship of 3 rupees per month. Later, he joined the government high school in Shillong, then the capital of unified Assam state and eventually studied in the Bishop Cotton College in Guwahati. He was the first tribal from Manipur to graduate. During the World War II, as he decided to join the British Army under an emergency commission, he faced a serious problem. The British rules were strict, recruits had to be 5 feet 4 inches, with the exception of the Gurkhas who could be recruited at 5 feet 2 inches. Bob, like many in the Northeast, was too short, 5 feet 3 inches only. But with a clever hairstyle and the help of an understanding officer of the Royal Army Medical Corps, he made it. He was the first Manipuri to get a King's Commission. For his devotion to duty and his brilliant organizing skills, he was soon awarded member of the British Empire in December 1943. Later, Bob fought the Japanese so well that in August 1944, he received the Military Cross. What a start in the life of the young Manipuri Naga. After World War II, acceding to a request from the Maharaja of Manipur, he took leave from the army to join the government of Manipur as the Minister for Hills Administration. Here too, he excelled. When the Manipur Assembly was dissolved in 1949, he was asked by Akbar Haidari, the first governor of Assam, to join the Assam Rifles where he served for some time as assistant commandant. His next assignment will forever remain in the history of India. As assistant political officer in the Coming Frontier Division of the Northeast Frontier Agency, he brought Tawang under Indian administration. In January 1951, in consultation with the Himat Singh Ji Border Defence Committee, then Assam Governor Jai Ramdas Dawlatram ordered the young Nagan officer to march to Tawang and take over the administration. On January 17, 1951, Bob, accompanied by Captain Hem Bahadur Limbu, 200 troops of five Assam rifles and 600 porters, left the foothills for his historic mission. During the following weeks, the young Manipuri showed his toughness, but also diplomatic skills. A few days after his arrival, he selected a high ground near the Tawang Monastery for meeting the Dzongpans, the commissioners from Tsona in Tibet and the village elders, Gaon Buras. Bob walked to the place, while 100 riflemen encircled the ground. The Apo instructed his second-in-command to fix bayonet, 100 click sounds of bayonets coming in unison seemed to say, we are even ready for blood, wrote his biographer. Then Bob spoke to the people about the Indian nation. It is not often mentioned, but the local Monpas were delighted by the arrival of the Carthing expedition. The Tibetan administration only forcefully collected, in particular corvée, taxes, which the local people often could not afford to pay. Only a person with an army background with his knowledge of the local tribes, his human skills, could succeed in this tricky operation, and this, without a drop of blood. Near Unanda, a Nears officer who was posted in Tawang in the 1980s, recalled what old villagers still remembered, after watching Carthing and his men for about a month, the village leaders came in a deputation with folded hands and grave faces. Well Sahib, they said, we have been watching your work and we like it but there is something that makes us very suspicious. Carthing was quite startled, what is it he asked. Had he done something wrong Sahib? They said, you do not take anything from us by way of tax, neither do you seem to be proposing to take any. This is causing grave concern to all of us. The young officer then relaxed. 
Is that all he asked them cheerfully. He then gave them a long lecture about India and its government which would never exploit its people. It is the way Carling conquered the hearts. On March 18th, six weeks after Bob had reached in Tawang, Yawaharlal Nehru wrote a note to the Foreign Secretary, I hear constantly about the activities of the North and Northeast Border Defense Committee. These activities have resulted in action being taken on the Tibetan border and in Nepal. At no stage have these matters been brought up before me for consultation, although apparently consultations have taken place with the governor of Assam and other people far away. I am greatly concerned about this matter because, as I have already mentioned to you, the manner of our going to Tawang and taking possession of it and thus creating some international complications has not been a happy one. I am yet not quite clear how all this was done without any reference to me. Well, it was probably better for India. It was a dying sad Avalab by Patel who had got the ball rolling and decided upon the operation sometime in December 1950, he had ordered Jai Ramdas Dalatram to go ahead with his faithful Apo. The experience of Kashmir was not to be repeated. In 1953, Bob officially joined the newly constituted Indian Frontier Administrative Service, he was first posted political officer of the Northeast Frontier Agency's Duen Song Frontier Division, he then occupied several important posts in the Northeast and Sikkim. During the 1962 war, he served as NAFA's security commissioner. Eventually, he was the first person from a tribal background to become ambassador of India, he was posted in Burma in the early 1970s. A statue of Major Bob Carding was unveiled on 27 February, 2023. At Wontang, Ukrul. John Carding Raleng, the eldest son of late Major Bob Carding Raleng now unveiled the statue at the valedictory function of a week-long Bob Carding tournament. The tournament was organized in commemoration of the 111th birth anniversary of late Major Bob Carding Raleng now and the valedictory function was attended by Dick Ten Sector Vibe Half Shinde, Commandant 35 Armanoi Shinde, Hanfan Village Authority members and the general public. The statue was constructed by Assam Rifles to honor the contributions Major Bob Kathing to the national security of India. The 35R, as a mark of respect and in remembrance of his services to the armed forces, offered guard of honor and paid floral tributes to the late military hero. Notably, the Assam Rifles has been organizing late Major Bob Carving tournament at Ukrul district headquarters every year in commemoration of the birth anniversary of Bob Carving Ralang now. Hanfen Fung Jim Football Association, HPFA, emerged champions of the football tournament, 9th edition while Yang Rafi I Club, YRC, lifted the title of girls volleyball and in baby league, Kelo India Ukrul football team became the winner in under 12 category. <laughs>